Okay, today we are going to tackle the yellow slice. And the first thing we see here, histograms for grouped data. Now it tells us here the following is a list of P-E ratios, current stock price divided by the company's earning per share for 18 companies. Now, don't worry too much about the reading here because it's all about these numbers. It's not so much about what the numbers stand for. We will do the same thing no matter what the actual numbers represent. In this case, they just provide us with a little context. Now, notice they want us to take these numbers and draw a histogram for these data using an initial class boundary of 29.5 and a class width of 6. Um, we're going to have to stop and interpret a little bit what they want here. Now, whenever I deal with problems like this, I sort of imagine a series of boxes or baskets that are sitting side by side. And these baskets are going to uh, be where we put these numbers. Small ones here and bigger ones over here. We have to have some numbers or some way to, to measure the numbers that go into each of these categories or baskets. And so Alex is going to tell us here that the initial class boundary is 29.5. These boxes, Alex will call classes. The boundaries are essentially the cracks that are between the boxes. The first crack is going to be over here on the left hand side before you even get to the first box and they tell us that that is 29 0.5, our initial or our first class boundary. Now they tell us some other information. They tell us that we have a class width of 6. Now the class width is the amount of space which is going to be trapped in each of the boxes. So the distance from our initial class boundary to our next one is going to be 6, the class width. So what we're going to do here is to take our 29.5 and add 6 to that. 29.5 plus 6 is going to be 35.5. And then we're simply going to do that all the way across, adding 6 as we go. So 35.5 plus 6 is 41.5 plus 6 is 47.5 plus 6 and so on. Now, the issue here is how are we ever going to know when to stop adding 6? I've got 5 boxes drawn out there, but it might be more than that. What we're going to need to know is how far to continue this process. So here's what we do next. Go up here and grab your Alex calculator. Now, on your first number, click and then drag all of those numbers into the calculator and click this button right here, sort. This will immediately take all of our numbers and sort them from small to large. Now notice that the biggest number on the list is 57. And so we're going to have to have a box or a basket, a class they call it, for that 57 to fit in. So going back over here and looking at our numbers, our boxes that we had once before, we take our 47.5 or 47.5 and add 6 which is going to be 53.5 and we see that we haven't gone far enough but because we have no place for our 57 so we're going to have to add yet another one so 53.5 plus 6 more is going to be 59.5 and so that will in fact hold our biggest number 57 will now fit in there, and we can see then that there are going to be five classes. It isn't always five. Sometimes it's more. Sometimes it's less. So now what we have are our class boundaries set up, 
And these class boundaries are what we're going to need to put down here at the bottom of our histogram. These numbers across here will be the class boundaries. Now our first class boundary, as we said, was 29.5. So type that in here. And move across and type in those other ones of 35.5. 41.5, 47.5, and 59, 53.5, and I'm out of space. Notice that I don't have room for my last one, so what we're going to need to do here is to add one. Go up here and click this addition button which is going to add an additional class boundary which we need at 59.5. Okay, now all of our class boundaries are in place. Now to get the frequencies we have to go back up here and count the number of numbers, in other words the frequency, the number of numbers that fall between the 29.5 and the 35.5. Now you can simply just count these right here off of the Alex calculator once they have been sorted, but what happens to me is I usually lose count here and then I get some of the frequencies wrong, which is frustrating. So my plan here is to go back over and copy those numbers down on my sheet of paper. And then what I will do is I will simply go in there and I will cut these numbers according to those classes that I set up. Now remember the first one starts at 29.5 and that class ends at 35.5. So I'm going to look down my list and see where that 35.5 would be. And notice that that would be right there after the 35 but before the 42. That means that there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven values which are in my first class. Now going back over to Alex, we will go over here and with our cursor, the magic finger pops up, click and then drag that bar, that first histogram bar, up to the number seven and leave it there. This is how you construct a histogram, which is essentially a bar graph with no spaces between the bars. It's called a frequency histogram because the height of this bar represents frequency, and frequency is the number of numbers that fall between these two values, or between our initial and our second class boundary. Now, we continue that process all the rest of the way across. Notice this next one is a little bit tricky because they want us to find the number of values that fall between 35.5 and 41.5. Well, if you look back at your data over here, you will notice that there are no numbers that fall between those two, 35.5 and 41.5. There are simply no values on the list that meet that criteria. So our second bar has a height of zero. That's easy to miss. So leave this bar alone. Don't pull it up at all. Now our next bar has got to go from 41.5 up to 47.5. So 41.5 up to 47.5 is going to cut right there with a frequency of 2. So back over to our graph, bring our bar up to 2 and so on. Now the next bar is going to go from 47.5 to 53.5. So we're going to cut off here at 53.5. And we will notice here then that we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 values in there. Let's go up then and back to our graph. Okay, our last category, our last class goes from 53.5 to 59.5. So once again, back on our list here, 
53.5 to 59.5 is going to be these last four values here. And so we go back and grab our last bar, pull it up to a height of four. Now, once again, if you were to add up these bars or add up the heights of each of these bars, this should total out to be our 21 values uh, that we said we had in the first place. And so let's go in there and check it and see if Alex is happy. And they are.